If you want to know what you spend every month on your EV, if you want to know all of your trips, how far did you go, what was your average consumption, if you want to know all of your charging sessions, how many kilowatt hours did you charge, what is your AC to DC ratio, and you don't want to write all of this down yourself, then Tronity is exactly what you need. Tronity connects to your car, a lot of brands are supported, and in the app or in a browser you can see all of this data. You can also have 100% text compliant driver's logbook. My viewers get 25% off if they use the link in the description below. Hello, I have tested the ID3 against the ID7 already, but now we have the ID3 GTX and this has the same motor than the ID7. Both have the 210 kilowatt APP 550 motor and the GTX even has a bigger battery, 79 kilowatt hours usable and this has 77. We have a few differences. Number one, this has 20 inch uh, wheels on there. My ID7 is 19 inch wheels, still summer tires both. And this car has a heat pump, that's why again we drive without heat. We're gonna freeze to death, that's nice. I charge here to 80% and then we do a little trip. And then we see in between what we have difference in uh, uh, consumption and when we arrive as well. We are on our way, ID3 GTX with Matthias is in front of me, we're driving around 130, started with 80%, our drive mode is in comfort, so standard, nothing changed, and our climate is in low, and fan speed 1, so there's no climate, it doesn't need any energy, it's all about driving and we'll see weather is horrible we both have the lights on which is shouldn't take a lot and it's busy as usual we're gonna drive around 60 70 kilometers and then turn around and we're gonna switch position as well so nobody is too long in front Interesting, interesting. So we have 10 watt hours per kilometer more and exact same state of charge. Very, very nice. We're gonna drive on back to the charger. It will be around 100 kilometers that we have driven. And then we'll see when we charge who's faster when it comes to get the energy back into the battery.
I arrived with 54%, 109 kilometers, 174 watt hours per kilometer was the consumption. He also arrived with 54%, 107 kilometers, and 184 watt hours per kilometer average consumption. We plugged both cars in, but on the ID3 it didn't work right away. We had to unplug and plug in again. And then we'll see what do we have here. I have to check. My car doesn't show what power we're charging. I have to check the Tesla app. Tesla app says 71 kilowatt. Let's look. GTX. Here we have 82 kilowatt. And this is in the car, not at the charger. Woohoo! Battery temperature of the ID7 almost there. It says that it's fine, that you can charge fully. Looks very, uh, ooh, it says that it's still heating up. It didn't say it in, in my car, did it? Uh, but, uh, but this is ID Software 5.0, but the temperature looks very similar. It's time to look at the result of this test and I have all the data in here and you can see tire size 20 inch on the ID3 GTX, 19 inch on the ID7 Pro, but bigger, wider tires, 235 in the front, 255 in the rear, where the ID3 GTX is 215 all over. Heat pump doesn't matter that the ID3 had a heat pump. And what, the, and what we see is that the trip meter said 107 kilometers on the ID3, but the real kilometers is what the ID7 showed, 109 kilometers. So the shown consumption, average consumption is wrong. It's not the 184 that we have seen, it's 180.6 because it thought it was driving 107 kilometers, not 109. And so the consumption is wrong. With this, of course, the state of charge uh, uh, difference was the same. So they both have 419 kilometers on the trip that we did. But battery capacity in the ID3 with a drive like this was 75.7 kilowatt hours. We only drove from 80 to 54 percent, so it's not very accurate. And in the ID7, it's 72.9. So that's 2.8 kilowatt hours more in the ID3 GTX. Very, very interesting. On paper, ID3 GTX is 79 and the ID7 Pro 77. That's 2.6% more. Um, consumption then was 180 watt hours per kilometer to 174. That's 3.45% more. Now, we have different tires and I have looked. The ID3 Pro S, you cannot order it right now with 19 inch wheels. So I cannot see the WATP range that Volkswagen says, but I can do it for the ID3 Pro, so the smaller battery. And the 20 inch wheels say 425 kilometers and the 19 inch uh, say 4, 431. That's 1.4% uh, more, uh, more range when you get the 19 inch wheels and then we only get to 2% difference. Hmm. But we have different rims and like I said, wider tires on the ID7. Charging, I charged in the ID3 GTX 21.615 kilowatt hours in the ID7 20.932. That is uh, 0.7 uh, kilowatt hours more. That's 3.26% more. That's very close to the consumption difference too. So I really think this calculation from distance to average consumption is good. Time-wise, I, I did a, a charging test with the ID3 GTX. Video is coming soon. Um, and I seen the charging curve and I compare it to the ID7 and it doesn't show what we see here that it's so different because average uh, power in the ID3 was 81 kilowatt in the ID7 70, even though the temperature was very, very similar. It took 16 minutes to charge from 54 to 80 in the ID3, but 18 minutes, two minutes more. I don't know why this is. Again, charging curve you will see uh, soon. So what I see is only a difference of around 2%, same motor, bigger battery. The weight as well, 
The ID7 weighed with me 2,240 kilos. The ID3 with uh, Matthias 2,120. That's 120 kilos more in the ID7, but the form is just awesome. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BetterLife1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.